Hello everyone, welcome back to Electrotech 5. During and even after the pandemic, vlogging has become the most popular trend. Are you one of those who wants to start their vlogging career but is still looking for the best video camera? Well, what are you waiting for? Join me in today's video as I introduce to you the top 5 best video cameras this 2023. First up on our list is the Canon EOS R5. At the core of every game-changing camera lies a technological revolution. On the EOS R5, this is driven by a dynamic duo, the new Digic X image processor and a new 45 megapixel CMOS image sensor. They make imaging breakthroughs such as 20 FPS high-speed burst shooting, cutting-edge new capabilities and that includes animal eye, face, and body detection. With 8K RAW slash DCI resolution, you can record movies without drop by just using the entire width of the sensor. The powerful new processing engine of the EOS R5 swiftly processes the tremendous amount of data generated by the 45MP image sensor and other key components, making the camera's most outstanding achievements possible. You can buy this camera for about $4,000. Not that cheap, but you can never go wrong with the camera features. Next, let's talk about the Fujifilm X-D4. Free yourself from compromise and be the image maker you've always wanted to be. The Fujifilm X-D4 is a hybrid camera that uses cutting-edge technology to excel in creating both stills and motion imagery. This camera has the 4th generation X-Trans CMOS 4 sensor X Processor 4, a newly developed compact in-body image stabilization or IBIS system, the new Eterna Bleach Bypass film simulation mode, and much more. It's time to extend your creative limits with this incredible imaging tool. This camera is equipped with a mechanical shutter capable of up to 15 frames per second. It delivers the fastest autofocus among APS-C mirrorless cameras at 0.02 seconds. So, are you ready to create images even during those fleeting moments? Third on our list is the Panasonic Lumix S1H. This is a creative tool for all professional photographers. The Lumix S1H is the new full-frame mirrorless camera that delivers cinema-quality video. For still photography, the Lumix S1H feels and behaves very much like the regular Lumix S1, though with a bit more weight and bulk. Panasonic has stuck with its contrast-based DFDAF system, but while this works well enough in single-shot mode, it's less convincing in CAF mode, especially in lower light levels. Lumix G provides the perfect system camera for the professional needs of modern filmmakers, photographers, or those who want to switch between both and have the latest features slash technology all built into a lightweight and compact mirrorless body design. The Panasonic S1H is a full-frame mirrorless camera designed specifically with videographers in mind. It includes advanced video features such as 6K resolution, 4x2x2 10-bit internal recording, V-Log Gamma, video scopes, anamorphic support, and numerous small details a videographer would love. As a bonus, it's also a very competent 24-megapixel stills camera. Panasonic has long been at the vanguard of mirrorless cameras aimed at videographers, and its popular GH series of Micro Four Thirds camera has consistently led the way with glass-leading video performance. It would be easy to assume that the S1H is simply an extension of the GH line into full-frame body, and there's certainly a bit of truth to that. But, as you'll discover, the S1H is equally an extension of Panasonic's highly regarded Varicam line of cinema cameras. At number 4, we have the Sony Alpha 7's Mark III. It won't be called as an Alpha 
if it isn't one of the best cameras, with outstanding imaging capability and high-speed performance contained in a compact body, the A7 Mark III gives you the power, precision, and flexibility to capture once-in-a-lifetime moments just as you like. A newly developed back illuminated image sensor and evolved image processing system fulfill various shooting needs with high-quality imaging capabilities that you would expect only a full-frame camera would have. AF performance is improved using the same AF advancements as in the Alpha 9 and applying it optimally. So once the Alpha 7 Mark III captures such unpredictably moving subjects such as dancers, boxers, and wild animals in actions, it won't easily let them go. With the Alpha 7 Mark III, IAF can now be used with the AFC mode for fast, effective eye detection slash tracking performance when shooting stills. The easy maintenance of optimum focus on moving subjects can totally transform your portrait. This camera is built with so many features and definitely a camera for professionals. And the features that I told you about, those are just highlights. This camera offers so much more. Lastly, we have the Panasonic Lumix GH6. The category-defining camera, powerful, reliable, unlimited, now with higher resolution and bit rates than ever before. With even more robust image stabilization and other important upgrades for pro-level quality. The Panasonic Lumix DC-GH6 is the latest in line of high-end micro four-third cameras aimed at video shooters. The GH6 can shoot a vast range of 4K focused video modes including slow motion from 120 frames per second, capture, and full sensor. It becomes the first GH camera to use the full Varicam V-Log profile. The mirrorless filmmaking world may have become more focused on full-frame cameras since the GH Limux series emerged, but the Panasonic Limux GH6 shows that there's still life in the micro four-thirds sensor format. Small and lightweight, but packed with a remarkable array of video options and excellent image quality. The GH6 also boasts superb handling and image stabilization, and perhaps the best contrast-based autofocus yet seen on a Panasonic camera. It's a dependable stills camera too. That's it for today. Do you now have an idea which camera to buy for your vlogging and photography career? Share with us in the comment section below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get the latest updates of our upcoming videos. This is Electrotech 5 signing out.